Dan Carden, United Kingdom Parliament. Thank you, Madam President and fellow delegates. I can only stand here today as a Member of Parliament for Liverpool Walton because 180 years ago, my great, 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 great grandfather, Thomas Carden, emigrated from Ireland to escape famine. He left Ballina in County Mayo with his young wife, crossed the Irish Sea and made Liverpool his home. Liverpool is one of the great ports of the world, known for music, for football, for culture. We are home to the oldest black community in the UK, the first Chinese community in the whole of Europe, and England's first mosque. We are a city of migrants that looks outwards to the world. And I'm all too aware that my role as a Member of Parliament is to carry forward the hopes and aspirations of the people I represent. But I see the possibilities of this Assembly, of parliamentarians from 178 nations, to renew the fight for freedom, justice and peace in the world promised in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights adopted in 1948 after the atrocities of the Second World War. And if we want freedom, justice and peace in the world, we must guarantee those promises in the lives of each person and every community in each of the nations that we represent here today. But in a rapidly changing world where climate catastrophe, food insecurity, poverty, inequality, conflict and war drive further political and economic instability, imperil the future of our planet, displace hundreds of millions of people from their homes, we must go further. We must reaffirm the roots of human rights in the inherent dignity of every human being. If we are to rise to the challenge of mass displacement, the brutal war in Ukraine has already created four million refugees. A one meter rise in sea level would displace 40 million people in Bangladesh alone. And globally today, there are 281 million displaced people already. And so the challenge is not just how we speak for those who elect us, but how we defend those people with no voice, with no home, and with no hope. We must guarantee the rights and give dignity to every man, woman, woman and child on the move. Face up to the reality of mass migration, not deny it, and that means strengthening the resolve of our international institutions and rejecting the anti-migrant racist rhetoric at home that provides no answers to the challenge at hand. The root causes of mass displacement will only be addressed through cooperation and solidarity and everyone here today has a role in playing to build it. Thank you.